Balance Syndrome. When you get out of bed in the morning, you can't distinguish where the wall ends, and where the door begins. At first, you think you might just be tired, but then you realize you can't figure out. You want to telephone for help, but struggle to find your cell phone. Fortunately, your family member points out that the phone is in fact right in front of you, on the counter where you left it. When the phone is handed to you, the numbers seem to float in space, making it impossible for you to dial a number. Could there be something wrong with your eyes? You go to the eye doctor and are told that your vision is perfect, despite the fact that you can hardly find the door to leave the office. What is Barlint's Syndrome? Barlint's Syndrome is a rare neuropsychological condition which causes ocular motor apraxia the inability to intentionally move your eyes towards an object. Optic ataxia the inability to accurately reach for something looking at. Visual simultagnosia an inability to see the whole picture. In Barlint's Syndrome, only parts of the whole is seen. For example, when shown a picture of a house, Patient sees only a window, a door, a wall, and so on, but not the entire house. Barlint's syndrome needs the help of other senses to guide and complete a job. For example, need to keep a hand on the sink in order to know where it is in the bathroom and need to put toothpaste in the mouth, rather than on the toothbrush. One may not able to use utensils at the table since he can't use his vision to aim the hand to pick up a fork or a spoon. In addition, it may be impossible to read, since simultagnosia means because he may only see one letter at a time, and may not be able to put that letter into the context of a word or sentence. Barlint's syndrome usually results from damage to both parietal lobes, which gives the orientation in space as well as other objects. When symptoms come on suddenly, they are likely due to stroke. However, other disorders such as tumors, trauma, near drowning, eclampsia, HIV encephalitis, and even neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, can also lead to Barlint's syndrome. Because Barlint's syndrome is relatively uncommon, the symptoms are often missed. Actually that visual disturbances are not from the eyes, but as a result of trouble with the brain, spatial disturbances regarding the vision occupational therapy, in some cases, can help. While different approaches have been suggested, no one approach is clearly the best. Try to use other senses to replace damaged perception. Books on tape can be used instead of usual reading material, and radio may replace television viewing. Thank you.